All right. So this is a 2019 Summit Pinnacle trailer, ready to roll actually up to Fort Collins. That's where this one will uh, live. But if we start at the front, uh, this has got the vehicle side lock and roll hitch. So if the vehicle is going down washboard and moving like this, the trailer's on its own plane, if you will. Uh, or if the trailer's rocking back and forth, it won't hamper the vehicle. If you're going down a steep ravine and back up, the trailer will do that as well. And of course, it'll handle uh, uh, tight turns uh, as, as well without, depending on, uh, you know, if you have a Jeep and a big uh, tire on the back, then you do have to be careful of uh, perhaps pinching the box. But uh, we'll go through all that. We go through all that with our uh, customers as we launch. Additionally, we have levelers at the front. Uh, with the lock and roll, I don't believe you need chains, uh, but uh, all state laws say if you got a trailer, you have to have chains. Um, of course, a nice uh, um, jack to be able to level your trailer for you. And this trailer's got uh, additional jack mount points at the back end, and you really only need one other jack to make sure your trailer is level for you. Um, this box is typically for all the dirty stuff you may take camping with you. Your porta potty, your firewood, your white gas to get that fire going, if you will. Um, so uh, very handy. And if this customer wanted, they could have a spare tire mounted right here and still have the ability to open up, access their box. So the ergonomics of all of that is tight, but it does work, right? <laughs> Um, of course, the front is uh, wrapped with diamond plate. The cool thing about diamond plate is if you get a rock coming up from your vehicle and it dents it, you can't see it as well. Right? And our diamond plate is uh, um, up high enough so that it protects your trailer from uh, you know, dents happening up here coming from your vehicle. Uh, this trailer's also got Nerf bars. Uh, in case you're on a very technical road and there's big boulders everywhere, we would rather replace this for you than fix this corner, right? So this is a replaceable uh, item, also serves as a step. It's got uh, a nice uh, grip um, powder coat on it and uh, just makes the trailer tougher. But while we're talking about toughness, of course that same great steel uh, skid plate is all the way welded to the bottom powder coated um, and ready to go through time. That's awesome. uh, the front of the trailer also has just over here connections to the outside world. This is where you'd put your solar panel. Okay. We don't believe that you should have a solar panel mounted to the top because then you have to orientate your trailer. Oh, sure. So if you're on Highway 1, for example, in California in the Redwoods, uh, you can park in the trees and take your panel, you know, 16 feet away or so yeah. and put it in that ray of sunshine really coming down. Awesome. This is our ship to shore, so you can bring 110 power into your trailer. And the, uh, we, we uh, use a lot of use cases like, all right, we're going to Minnesota to camp in the summertime where the mosquitoes are this big. <laughs> How can we both charge our trailer and uh, not let the bugs in? Sure. Right, so we can keep our trailer all closed up and bring that sunshine energy in and such uh, going forward. Yeah, all right, now we'll walk around the side there. And, uh, you know, again, I showed you the doors. Uh, they have uh, dead bolts and such so that you get that security, that safety, and, of course, screens to keep those uh, Minnesota Skeeters out. Um, this particular trailer is now configured for what we call happy hour mode. <laughs> so the queen-size mattress over here is folded into its couch, and the bunk beds are folded into uh, a couch. Uh, therefore, it's been tested. You can get up to eight people in here. Uh, it helps if they're all uh, swill and beer. But uh, in our high country in the summertime at about 4 p.m., it rains every 4 p.m. in the high country. So this is a great place to dive in before you start cooking dinner, to get out of the rain, uh, you play Yahtzee, what have you. Oh, yeah. Enjoy it all. So very warm and uh, inviting. Now, everything in the teardrop should have multiple purposes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, up here, you'll see in a moment when we convert this to a bunk bed that we have our bunk rails here. However, while we don't have the bunk beds up, the bunk rails sit on the other side of the cabin okay. to hold your uh, belongings in place, mm -hmm. if you will. So this is a queen size mattress that just folded into third right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in a moment, we'll uh, convert this and cool. then do another shot of uh, it as uh, a sleeping quarters. Okay? Cool. All right, but we'll finish the outside. 
Um, again, back to tires. Uh, Off-road radial TAs, these are our standard. Uh, these are 33s. And again, a bolt pattern that matches, in this case, a um, um, Toyota uh, off-road vehicle. So the six on five and a half. Um, the fenders, again, weight bearing. Uh, so that you can climb up top and, uh, you know, get your kayaks off or what have you. And uh, uh, also right here is an on-demand hot water shower. Now, what's unique about this particular customer is they don't have water aboard. We did not put the water tank under the floor for them, but we configured them a handheld pump. Uh, and they'll buy a Home Depot bucket, go down to the creek, oh, yeah. get five gallons of water, drop a, filtered, uh, a filter in, mm -hmm. turn on the pump through the 12-volt system, and they'll have instant hot water to shower in. So they're not showering with their drinking water, yeah. which yeah. is uh, a very cool thing, right? <laughs> um, and of course, the uh, on-demand hot water shower does need propane gas, so it's uh, located right here in a great stainless steel bracket behind the fender to protect it. Um, and uh, ergonomically satisfying is a sink that mounts here while you're camping. It, of course, will come out, and you can see it'll punch down. It actually has a drain and everything. And we're going to leave that wrapped up uh, right now for our customers. But, uh, uh, you know, so you can take your hot water, not your creek water, yep. and uh, fill up your sink and do... Uh, do the dishes in, yeah. right? This uh, shelf here on the bifolding door serves as a platform for your cooking stove. So if you're like frying bacon, you don't have to worry about messing up your, uh, your galley with it all splattering. So you can do it out here. Gas is right there, uh, nice and convenient. And of course, this shelf will fold down. So when it all collapses, it all makes a good watertight uh, environment. All of this, by the way, is insulated to keep the odors down for the critters that are uh, actually living where you're camping. <laughs> right. The, uh, we find the galley very uh, satisfying in the sense that you can actually have four adults all working, uh, preparing uh, your, your, your dinner, if you'd like. Uh, here is where the, the uh, in this scenario, cooler, probably a Yeti 45 would go. Um, this is the handheld pump I mentioned that uh, will uh, feed the shower uh, with hot water. Pumps, uh, uh, plugs into a 12 volt up there, USBs. Um, this customer's got the Yeti 400 uh, lithium, which, you know, that will last a family of four about a week using uh, LED lights, uh, charging phones and electronic devices, and running the fan. That's incredible. Yeah, and of course, uh, that can be charged with solar, yep. and it can be charged from the tow vehicle, oh, yeah. and or the ship to shore. Wow. So lots of ways to get power there. Now, that, this customer chose to put theirs in the back of the trailer, but you'll see in a moment when we convert the um, uh, uh, cabin, that it can also go under the couch or the bottom bunk. Oh, cool. So it can go inside. So if you have a CPAP machine, for example, yeah. if you're camping with a CPAP, it's probably a good idea to have this in the cabin to where it's easily accessible to plug in your hardware and make sure you get a good, good night's sleep sure. yeah, with your gear. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then, um, you know, uh, we discussed earlier the great insulation that's in our side walls and ceilings and floor and everything. Um, an electric blanket is my favorite form of heat. Just yeah. a, a standard uh, queen size 110 electric blanket. By pushing this button here, we are now uh, creating AC 110 power that will power that electric blanket. Now, you would not want to have that on all night because with the great insulation, it's going to get hot in there. So in my experience at 8,000 feet, zero degrees outside uh, um, Fahrenheit, uh, I plug in an electric blanket for 15 minutes, and it's now 65 degrees in the cabin, which is plenty warm for me to sleep, you know, with a, a down comforter over me as well. And uh, sleep great all night, and then in the morning, because now it's colder than zero degrees, right? Uh, I'll, I'll turn it on again for a few minutes to get courage to get outside. <laughs> Isn't that great? And of course, one of my favorite tools I take camping is a portable campfire because unfortunately in our summer times, you may or may not be able to have an open uh, fire, but you can always have uh, a campfire powered by propane. So when I get up and it's that cold, I'll literally put my portable campfire right here and whoo, instantly hot, uh, light it up. And as I'm making breakfast, I'm warming my hands, the fire's right there where I need it. It's, it's a great way to go. I've not thought about that. 
And, and of course, there's all kinds of storage here for knives and forks and pots and pans and stoves. Um, this customer configured theirs uniquely. Usually there's just a wall down here, uh, but they wanted drawers. So, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll add those uh, configurations to our customers. And again, the customer can plug in their phone and uh, charge it or their LED lights uh, or, or what have you in the back. And then, um, you know, talk about cold camping. If we just had the hydraulic jack like this, mm -hmm. or lift, uh, the cold weather, it would drop down cold slowly, weather. right? Because the gases don't expand. So we got a lockout version. So oh. it goes up and it won't come down unless you push this button. That's extremely thoughtful. Isn't that nice? Yeah. And of course, uh, we do things like this is a gutter so that we can move the water. You'll never stop water. Yeah. You have to channel water. Yeah. So we make channels for the water to get off your trailer and uh, uh, get away from your trailer. Again, the two inch receiver um, and uh, the uh, jack mount point. Uh, if I may, I'll, I'll uh, start folding this up. Yeah, so you can uh, put another jack here, and if this is the low side, you can crank it up so uh, she becomes level. And I'll just shut all this so we can see how that's done. Normally the sink will go in here. And it'll close all up here. I'll turn off that light, push that button, push. Compress, and uh, now we're airtight, watertight, ready for travel here in the back. Okay, it took us about a minute to convert to bedtime mode. So if you recall, we had two couches and a dining room uh, set up, and now we have a queen size uh, mattress that's six foot six by five foot wide. Nice memory foam mattress. Under this mattress, by the way, is under the floor storage throughout. And then uh, the two uh, kids, little kids, big dogs, they got their own uh, bunks for them as well. So you can comfortably get a uh, family of four in here. Um, and uh, as I mentioned, it's airtight as well. So you'll need to open that uh, vent up top to allow a little bit of uh, fresh air to come in uh, while you're sleeping or uh, um, the uh, window. All right, so comfortable night's sleep. Funny story, we have customers they will spend thousands of dollars like you can on your home mattresses. Mm -hmm. And then they'll uh, go camping and come back and go, Dean, this mattress cost me $200 from you, and I sleep better on it. Why is that? And it might be the surroundings, I don't know. But it is yeah. truly a comfortable mattress. That looks so awesome. Thank you. Colorado made, and there's the Bronco.